and welcome back to my art room. Today we are going to create some more op art or optical illusion art. We will want to use cool colors. Cool colors are greens, blues, and purples. Or warm colors, which are reds, oranges, yellows, and pink. Pink is just a lighter shade of red, so it does fall under warm. We want to stay away from achromatic colors which include black, grays, and whites. We're sticking with warm and cool. And this is the element of color. All right, for today, we have our sheet of paper, and we're gonna find the middle. You can just guess where you think the middle is, or you can take and fold it long side to long side and then short side to short side and where they cross will be the middle. So you can either guess or have it precise by folding. I do suggest you to draw with pencil. I'm just drawing with marker so it's easier for you to see. Now we will be drawing several lines radiating or coming from that line to the edge. Feel free to use a ruler if you have one or a straight edge, or the edge of a folder, or a piece of paper to help you with your straight lines. You're going to want to have one on either side and one on each corner. It's gonna go from that middle. And since I folded mine, I already kind of have where the line's going. And I'm gonna draw from the edge to the point, from the point to the edge. And I'm going to do the same for the other flat edge. From the top to the center, from the center to the edge. The corners get a little bit trickier because most rulers are not quite long enough. So we're actually going to go from the center point to the edge. I'm holding the ruler or the straight edge with my hand I don't write with, with an L. Touch the point to the edge. And I'm going to do that for the other three as well. And now I have my lines drawn. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. One on every flat edge for four, and then one on every corner for four. Eight in total. In between these, I'm going to choose if I want to draw an N or a U. You can choose either, but stay with the one you choose. So if you choose an N, you're going to draw ends all the way to the edge. The more curved your N is, the more three-dimensional it will look. And you're going to continue an N on each of the other sections. So if you draw ends, it almost looks like a flower. And I'll go ahead and show you what it'll look like if you choose use. So I'm going to get my center, crease, crease, center dot. Now my line on each flat side. Remember for the corners, most rulers are too short. We're going to actually go from the middle to the edge. So just the middle middle, out. Here I drew ends everywhere. Here I'm going to draw U's everywhere. If you draw U's, it looks more like a spider web. So you can pick ends or U's. That is up to you. Just like last week, we want to keep cool together and we want to keep warm together. So each of these pick if you want it to be cool or warm. So if I start with green, this entire section here has to be cool. It can all be shades of green. It can be a pattern of green, blue, green, purple, or green, blue, and purple. If I start here with pink, this entire section has to be warm. It could be a pattern of pink and red, it could be a pattern of pink, yellow, and orange, or all four colors. 
Whatever color you start with, the entire section has to stay cool or warm. So for my first section, I think I'm going to make a pattern out of red and orange. Red and orange are both warm colors. So this entire section is warm. If I make the next section a pattern of red and orange, it's not going to stand out and it's going to look very similar. So if I do want to make the next row be warm colors, I need to either select a different shade of orange and red or use yellow and pink. You don't want the same colors touching themselves because then it won't stand out very well. So to help it stand out, the next section I'm going to make cool. I'm going to use light green, dark green, and light blue, which I can do since they are all cool colors. And you're going to continue carefully coloring around, making sure each section is either warm or cool. Make sure that the same colors are not touching themselves to help each section stand on its own. So now I have my new op art piece completed. I made a pattern of warm, cool, warm, cool all the way around. That way each color wouldn't touch itself. So which color combinations will you choose? Have fun and happy arting.